So, how will you find a relationship between the coefficient of cubical expansion and absolute temperature? We have PV equal to nRT for an ideal gas. For an ideal gas. This is just the ideal gas equation where P is the pressure, V is the volume and the number of moles are universal gas constant and the absolute temperature T. Suppose the pressure is constant, we have change in PV is equal to change in NRT. Which means since the pressure is constant, we have P change in volume is equal to N and R always remains constant. So you can take that out N R delta T. Clear. Call this as equation number one. Suppose if you divide the equation number one the, with the volume V, then you will get P delta V by V is equal to N R delta T divided by V. And if you take the delta T to the left and P to the right, you can write this equation as delta V by V delta T is equal to N R divided by P. Let's call that as equation number 2. Again, if you take this equation, we have uh, PV by taking this NR to the left, PV by NR equal to T. Or if you take the reciprocal in here, that is NR by PV, then it will be 1 by T. Taking the reciprocal here, you also have to take the reciprocal in the right, right hand side also. So, the equation 2 will become, you know, delta V by V delta T means the gamma or coefficient of cubical expansion. This NR by PV is actually 1 by T. So, that's the re relation between coefficient of cubical expansion and absolute temperature at constant pressure. That is, the coefficient of cubical expansion is the reciprocal of the absolute temperature. Clear. Or you can write T gamma equal to 1. Gamma T is always 1. 